All right, in this question, we're asked once again to find the area of a sector, but we're given something different. This time, we're given that it has a chord length A of 5 centimeters and a radius of 3 centimeters. Now, remember to find the area of our sector, we need to do 1 half radius squared. Our radius is 3, but then we need the angle theta to go right there, and we don't know theta at this point. So we're going to use our information to find theta, and then we'll be able to find the area of our sector. So first, let's remind ourselves what a chord is. Um, from geometry, a chord is a line segment with endpoints on the circle. So it goes from one point on the circle to another point. It's a straight line segment. Okay. Here we have our center. What we need to know is what's the measure of this angle theta. If we draw lines from the center to the ends of our chord, which was length 5, we want to know this angle here. Well, notice we know the length of these two sides we just drew because it's the radius. It goes from the center to the edge of the circle is 3, no matter where on the circle. Okay. So now we have three sides of a triangle, and we can use our law of cosines to find the measure of angle theta. Now, if you read your text, they have solved the law of cosines formula for theta so that it makes it a little easier for you. Um, or you can start with your law of cosines, okay? Which says a squared equals b squared plus c squared minus 2bc cosine theta we want to solve to find theta. Now I'm assuming my theta here okay, is my, my angle A here. Okay, So um, the side across from theta, 5 squared equals 3 squared plus 3 squared, those other two sides, minus 2 times 3 times 3 times the cosine of, again, theta, which I don't know. And we would solve from there. So we get 25 equals 9 plus 9 minus 18 cosine of theta. We would subtract these 9's from both sides, which is a total of 18. <clears throat> 7 equals negative 18. Cosine theta. Divide both sides by negative 18, and you will be doing a lot of this in this lesson, finding angles using the law of cosines. Okay. Now all we have left to do is do the arc cosine or inverse cosine of both sides to remove that cosine. Okay. Um, now you want to make sure when you calculate this that your calculator is in radian mode. Because remember to find the arc, the um, area of a sector, we have to have the angle theta in radians. It's easier just to find it in radian mode rather than find the degree major and then change it to radians. So make sure your calculator is in radian mode and do the inverse cosine of negative 7 eighteenths. Okay, you should get about 1.97 radians for your answer. And then we can go over there and put that over here in our formula and we can calculate what they wanted, which was the area of the sector of that circle. So it's 1 half times 9 times 1.97, which gives me about 8.87, and that would be in centimeters squared. Okay, so first you have to find the measure of angle, so you use the law of cosines. Again, if you look in your text, they've kind of done the formula for you so that you don't have to do through all the solving process. And just plug the numbers in as long as you know which numbers are which. So b and c squared are those two sides that are not opposite the angle, minus the side opposite your angle squared over 2 times those two sides. So this is essentially you've solved the equation with all the variables. Um, if you use this, it will give you that same answer. So we will be doing a lot of solving for angles. If you want to just write that down and use it, you can. And then once you have your angle, again, you come over and put it into the formula for the area of a sector of a circle, and you're good. All right, and a second example. Find the area of a sector with a chord length 7 and a radius of 7. Okay, so again, 
draw myself a little picture of what I have going on here. I have a cord length 7. I also want the area of the sector that that cord covers. So this section of the circle that's cut off here. I want the area of this section. I need to know my angle theta here. Well, once again, since I drew lines from the center to the edge, I know they're the same length as the radius, which also happens to be 7. One thing you might notice is we can use the law of cosines to find theta, but we can also use the fact that, notice this is an equilateral triangle. All my sides are the same length. And in an equilateral triangle, all the angles are also the same length. They're always 60 degrees. So I know that that's a 60 degree angle. And if all I have to do now is convert it to radians, and I'm fine. You can go through and use the law of cosines like we did on the previous question. We just lucked out on this one. We ended up with an equilateral triangle, all sides the same length. So we knew that that central angle was 60, because all the angles in an equilateral triangle are 60 degrees. And I'm just going to convert that to radians. Okay, So I get pi over 3 radians. And I'm going to put that in my formula and find the area. So this one went a little bit faster because I didn't have to go through the whole law of cosines because I just got lucky with what they wanted. <laughs> okay. So my area is 1 half, my radius squared, the radius was 7, times theta, which is pi over 3. Okay, we do 0.5 times 7 squared, which is 49, times pi divided by 3. You should get about 25.66, and that is in centimeters also, so square centimeters.